Walkthrough 2 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to do welding and we're going to pick up right from where we left off in tutorial 1. We have our two graphic files, the leaf sprig file and the heart file. The first thing we're going to do here is we're going to click on the leaf sprig file and we want to break up the different components that are in this file. So the way we can do this is we can click on it to get the handles around the graphic file here, or the, your tracing file, excuse me, and you're going to go up to Path, Break Apart. Now you can see that it's got three different graphics. Instead of having one big uh, you know, window around the graphic, you have three separate ones. So if you click off of there, you can now move these out separately. This is this is why I create uh, groupings because I know I can always break them apart and use them in uh, and it's only one file and it makes it a lot easier. I hope I hope you can get this concept and use it many times. Okay, in order to start working with our file, what I'd like to do is I'm going to go and click View, Zoom In, so I can see my um, design a lot better. Again, view, zoom in. But if you notice, there's a plus key here. So what that tells you is that you can use the plus key on your key keyboard. And that's what I do. I like to zoom in a lot faster. So that's by clicking the keyboard, you can do that and zoom in a lot faster. All right, so now that we've got our design where we want it, we can start working with it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting my design together. Uh, well, I need this leaf. I'd like to have a leaf on this side and possibly on this one. But I want to start to work on this side first. So I'm going to take this leaf and I'm going to do click on it, right click, copy, and then anywhere on a white space, click, right click, paste. So now I have a copy of this leaf. The next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to now position this leaf in a different position. And you've got these four different uh, icons up here. One will help you flip it 90 degrees, clockwise or counterclockwise, and then these will help you uh, click, uh, flip them vertically or horizontally. Because I have this leaf going um, one way, I would like to flip it horizontally and have it going the opposite direction. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my leaf here. That looks pretty good. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down my two leaf and my single leaf. And again, if you have handle, when you select it, it puts handles around it. If you select it, you click on it one more time, it puts the, the curved arrows on it, and it means you can rotate it. All right. Again, I'm just playing around with this. I would like to now flip this one as well, but I want to do it vertically. So I'm going to highlight this and flip it vertically. Well, let's try flipping it horizontally. Okay, that's better. Now I'm going to click it again and I'm going to rotate it. And now position it where I want to. All right. Just like that, I've created a three leaf cl cluster and I like that pretty well. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mouse and I'm going to highlight the three leaf cluster and it makes sure that both of these are all um, selected and I'm going to do right click copy right click paste so now I still have all my pieces you never want to get rid of those until you're done with your design because you want to always work with these alright so now that I've got this the way I like it again I'm going to select it with my mouse all of them and I'm going to now cre create a three-leaf cluster 
and I need to weld it together. So I'm going to go click on Path Union. Okay, so now this is all a three leaf cluster. All right, again, I want to now take this and I'm going to highlight it, excuse me, click on it and get the handles. And now I'm going to go up to uh, flip horizontally, then click on it, and I can now turn it. All right, so basically now I have creating my design. All right, this looks pretty good. I'm going to take my single leaf, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take right click, copy, right click, click paste, so that I always have an original up here, and now I can work with this. And if you click twice, it puts the curved arrows around it, and you can rotate it, and I'm just going to rotate this around until I get it the way I want it. That's about where I want it. Maybe a little more. So you can play around this and get it just like you want it. Alright. So now I'm going to take my heart and I'm going to start building this border. So I'm going to do a right click, copy, a right click, click paste, and I bring my heart in here put this in here. Alright, so the other thing I want to show you is that you have a ruler up here and with this ruler if you just click up in here and bring pull down it brings down what are called guides and you want to keep your design pretty symmetrical and these really help you. So I want my heart to be in line with my original heart so I can put it up here and that helps me place it. Okay, so you can just keep playing around with these and start laying them in place until you like what you see. Let's see here. Alright. Alright, so now we can uh, start building this. Let's do um, let's see, what are we going to do? We can pull in the four cluster leaf and put it here. Again, we're going to copy it. Right click, copy, right click, paste, so that we always have the original. Again, now you want to line up your leaves, so you want to pull the guide up at the top of your leaf so that now this one can go and be in line as well. Alright, so now you've got your leaf pattern and you can just continue doing this. So we're going to right click on the heart, copy, paste, Put the heart here. Again, bring the guide. Now is we can move the guide out of the way. We can now highlight this entire design because we want to make it one. We want to weld it all together, so we will go click on Path Union. Now we have a heart border. Isn't that pretty? In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to make this even prettier. I hope this has been very easy for you and I wish you much success.